1223 here with the second part of the uh, lantern of the ad lake alert. Uh, I'm just showing my last ad lake, my switchman's lantern, and like I mentioned, this is not going anywhere because of, well, my dad likes this one too much. Uh, and I'm getting the second part of why all the ad lakes are going. One, because they're all over the place. I mean, they're not too collectible. And two, the fact that uh, we need to make money. And there's a third reason. is because my dad participated in something that he hasn't done yet, and he participated in an auction, a real one. And he nabbed, <clears throat> he nabbed three lanterns and one, two, three, four, and I four, four, five, or six globes from a lot from a railroad from a huge railroad lantern from a huge railroad Indiana collector named Stanley Baker, who either passed away or is giving up his seventy plus year collection, very very massive. This is the second auction of his that we got this stuff from, and uh, which is the second one. The first one happened like five months ago, four or five months ago. This this one here happened again. He was selling off some other some of his stuff, but we nabbed two Ad Lake Reliable, two regular Ad Lake Reliables, uh, one for the Boston and Maine Railroad, and another one for the New York Central Railroad. Both are emb have embossed globes, clear ones. And are marked on the top, which I and they're in really good shape. One has this style lid, one has the newer style, which doesn't have all these lines and curves and anything. But uh, we're in really, really good shape, and uh, I hope to show them off really soon. Uh, another lantern that is going to be coming soon is a is of a road of a road name that I've really favored. For the past couple years or so, highly. Um, there's not too many lanterns like that are out there that you can find them that you can find in really good shape that are valuable. But I have this weekend we're going to be getting a Pierre Marquette lamp that uh, a guy here in this that a guy close by is going to let me buy from him. It has a clear embossed globe, and I hope to show it by at least on this ne next Monday. But uh, a lot of globes, there consists of some big railroads, including a nickel plate road, railroad globe that is marked NYC and STL, which is Nick, New York, Chicago, and St. Louis Railroad, which is what the nickel plate stands for. A Delaware Lackawanna Western Globe, a Sioux Line Globe, a Chicago Northwestern Western Globe, and one globe that for some reason did not show up in the pictures very well, but is etched in some old scripture writing, and it's a number zero size, so we're really hoping that we can get money. We're really hoping that it's something rare and possibly valuable so but anyway uh you will possibly you will see more of this lamp it's not going anywhere but uh just letting you know that the ad lakes are going away but like i said i will probably collect some dressels some arm spears and uh and uh we'll collect ad lakes of other models not the short globes because the short globes just aren't really what we're aiming for. And Deets will still be coming too. We're not done with Deets either. So, uh, Hanlon, we'll try and get some Hanlons. Hanlons too, the Mopac stand, even though it's a short globe, because it's, it's a rare one. So, uh, this is all for the Ad Lake Alert. And, uh, this is video number 95. Yep. Five more to the big 100. I'm hoping to do something really special for the number 100 for the number one or for the 100th video. So uh, prepare to find something on here that either hasn't been shown or hasn't been shown in a while. Something that's got probably gotten redone. So uh, this is it for the Ad Lake Alert 1223. Out.